Hi, I'm Judith Rayo, and these are my photos, which will be going into the new show at Studio 103. And um, I do photography, and all my photos are raw, single capture images. No filtering, no layering, and no double images. For me, it's all about the idea of how do we balance, how do we find harmony between human-made things and nature. My paintings are based on a project that I did with my buddy Judy, who's a poet. You pull the poems out of um, different sections of the painting. So like the, the one poem is in the apron pocket, another poem is in the opening of the medicine cabinet. But it was a wonderful project that was sat on for at least a year by a publisher. Nothing has to come of this so far, but these paintings have never been seen before accordingly. So I'm delighted to have them in this project and very cool to work together and work with Judy again. Thanks. showing here is all part of the Daily Art Habits series, which is really, it relates to time. And once when I was making something, a, I had something running through my head as I was making it. I'm not going to give it away here, um, but I ended up titling one of my pieces with this, with something inspired by this song. Um, and you'll see that the three that I have here relate to that in some way. most interested in with my Riverstone series is um, trying to well express my environmental concerns uh, and also bridge the gap between um, representational work and abstract. The subject matter for the Riverstone series um, is environmental. Um, these are based on reference photos that I took myself from the banks of the Skagit River. Health of the Skagit River um, directly determines the health of um, our resident orcas. And uh, by focusing my artistic attention onto the environment, um, I am painting what is most important to me. project uh, in both ways. In some cases I painted something first and then tried to find a poem that I thought resonated with it and in other cases I found a poem that I really liked and tried to paint to it. I found that both approaches were, were very challenging but I really really enjoy uh, trying to connect my literal mind with my non-verbal artistic mind. time ever doing anything official. It was to be a line from a point. I remember a point that I, I wrote as a, like in my early teens called the Dream Shroud. I remember different lines of it and one line was I cast off the Dream Shroud. And so this work is about 
the dream shroud, like what that means to me, what that looks like, and what it looks like to cast that out. The whole idea of like serpent was like a big symbol for me in creating this artwork. And I actually have a whole bunch of other drawings <laughs> with the serpents and these eggs. Um, and this language. I was like, I'm gonna do a Semitic language instead of like an actual language in my work because I really feel drawn to the idea of language and artwork and I also feel drawn to the, language, the idea of a language that's just kind of not a real language but that's coming from inside of you. So I have these different um, languages here in this 